like me you were Jewish, this is a very uncomfortable moment. But I'm going to breathe through it. So we have Jeff the Fog, and here's what I want you to know about him. The best gig he ever had was when he was in high school, he worked in an ice cream park. And as far as he was concerned, when he was literally scooping joy into a cone and watching people smile, it couldn't get better than that. You're holding <laughs> It has been so good to have so many here with us tonight. <laughs> Brothers, sisters, those of you somewhere in between, I come to you with a most important message that for innovation, failure is indeed the only option. But I worry that there are sinners among us, look to your left, maybe all the way in the back, or look deep inside, for in each of us there is a sinner who needs salvation for innovation. We have worshipped false gods who see no need to change until the members demand it. They listen to no talk about best practices, next practices, or proven ideas from others. And they speak never of investing association reserves in prototypes or pilot projects. They do, however, heed the devil's prophecy. They ride not the bullet train to break throughs, they chug the choo-choo train to break downs. Listening to a weak voice saying, I think I can, I think I can. They engage in idol worship. We know stand right and stagnate. Leap left and move forward. But they block our progress and one day they shall pay, my friends. They shall pay. But there is no need today for us to let their enduring epitaph become our current autograph. Resist the temptation, my friends. Resist. Good enough is most definitely not good enough. Except when it comes to innovation, actually sometimes it is. If you take the video handheld camera, which has a limited number of features at a very low price, it's got an awful lot of purchasers, so don't mess with that. But you come tonight not for small change. You come to change the world, your world, our world, and I ask each of you, what the hell have you been waiting for? Surely you have not been waiting for the CEO to retire, the board to complete the next strategic plan, or mountains of resources to fall from the sky. And if you have, what about the members? For your waiting is merely deflating. Maybe you say, who am I? Who am I to try to change the world? I say, do you want to change the world? Yes! Permission has been granted. <laughs> Permission has been granted. Permission to think differently about innovation and to recognize that the power may come from our purpose, my friends, and not from the plan. When we have clarity around our core, it can expand into infinite possibilities infinite possibilities. So listen to these three wise men, Jim Collins, Jim Kuzas, and Barry Posner, who ask so little of us as they point us on the path to progress. Try some stuff, see what works, leverage the small wins. But know one day, my friends, that after significant study, you will release the greatest innovation ever. And even the most faithful among your flock will turn to you and say, it is too foreign to what I consider familiar. And you will be labeled a heretic of the heritage. So yes, read the seven measures for success, but do not become too devoted a disciple of the data. Trust your instinct to read between the decimal points, my friends, if you want to innovate. And cast not stones of aspersion on those among us who make daily minor investments in incremental improvements that create evolution while you sit back and talk mighty things and plan your revolution. Do not do that, my friends, because success is never going to be guaranteed. If we are unwilling to risk anything, do we not put everything at risk? If we are not allowed to fail at something, we shall never innovate at anything. 
But what do we mean by failure? Innovation is not a pass-fail course. There is a great expanse between A and F, and the Price is Right rangefinder of success will move with you as you incrementally improve in this iterative process. So stand up now, my friends. Stand up. Put your hands forward. Put your fears in those hands and release them to the heavens above. And join me now with a new mantra for innovation. Not I think I can. Say after me, I know I can. I know I must. We know we can. We know we must. We know we must. Get back down and sit. Because there shall be no more preaching from the soapbox, my friends, but you must go forth and play in the sandbox. Tonight it has been written. Tonight it has been said. Tomorrow you must make it so.